Spook Sukers is um, a game for all the players. How this game works is that one player will be the host of this kind of ghost hunter type show, and they will be investigating a haunted building. So the host of this show will be Haley Evans. And what we need from the audience is a, a type of building that has been haunted. So yeah, Yvonne knows spooksuckers, snookers. Um, so a, a, a type of building. So we have National Parliament. Thanks, Candidate. The spa. Oof, oof. That could be quite terrifying. And um, thanks, Calvin. Spur Library, a wedding venue in Randburg. So swimming pool center. Woolworths, the fish market. Eco home, liquor city. Why am I reading it in an accent? Golf club, frigid bottle store. <laughs> Fridge at bottle store. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with a wedding venue in Randburg. Cool. Happiness. Players. Oh, I do think we should just say though that this. Oh, thank you very much. Go ahead. You do you. Oh, th Come thank you, Avril, for reminding. I even had written it down. So just this is for our younger audiences and also just for parents to know that this game gets a little bit spooky. So if you have children who are sensitive to ghosts and being scared, um, now is a good time to say nighty night. Um, yes. So yeah, just a bit of PG, PG thirteen. Um, and yes, also spook means ghost. Thank you very much. Let's watch. <clears throat> Are we on? Hello, and welcome back to Spook Suckers with me, Sonia. Right, today we have a very exciting thing because we are here at the wedding venue in Randburg, which we are told by the proprietors has got a bit of a problem. Now, they say whenever the wedding bells is rung, whenever somebody says, can you kiss the bride, something bad happens. So what we have is we've got our team of experts. We've got our technical team there in the church. Can I ask you, Rian, can you come in? Rian, are you there in the church already set up? Yeah, I'm here. I'm inside the church. Um, so now, as you can see, it's quite dark inside here. And we have got a lot of equipment set up here. We've got our infrared. We've got uh, the infra blue and also the infra green frequencies that we are monitoring so that we can check out all the ghosts and the paranormal uh, things that are going to be here when uh, at the right time comes. That's fantastic. Yeah. And the right time is after sunset because we also say the, the proprietors of this establishment have said that it doesn't ever happen for daytime weddings. It is only for the nighttime weddings. That's right. That's right. We're here for the nighttime weddings. And that is why we're here for the nighttime. I've also got, I've got, a, I've got an actor standing by to say I do. So that's going to be quite exciting when, when the time comes. Yes, we've got... We've got uh, We've got Bronwyn there. Uh, Bronwyn is our dramatist. Um, Hello. Bronwyn, yeah. Can you tell us how you're feeling? Okay. Um, uh, so at the moment, uh, I'm feeling quite scared. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I'm in a very enclosed space, as you can tell. But I'm also ready to put my um, drama acting to work. Excellent. Yeah, we have our cameras ready for that. We even have thermal cameras for this. Right, now, a paranormal specialist, Calvin, can you tell us what the vibe is from your side? What are you feeling? What are you picking up? Hello, Sonia. Yes. So, a few minutes ago, I reached out to the other side and I actually received a message. Mm. It was the faint singing of Here Comes the Bride in D minor. Ooh. That gives me chills. Really? Like a, like a Absolute chills. No, 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 it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll okay. Right. Um, I'm, hear I'm hearing noises already. I'm hearing yeah. picking up noises on the deck. Um, I want to also just cross over to our historian. Our historian, Captain Poopy Pants the second. Can you tell us a little bit more about this building there, Captain Poopy Pants the second? 
I refer to your full name by your own insistence. Insistence. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. Uh, yes, Captain Pim Benz here, and I am a specialist in this kind of building. I have been looking at wedding venues in Randburg for the last 27 years. So I would say that this building over here was probably built in about 1981. Uh, and, and I would suspect that maybe the ghosts or the paranormal activity which is taking place in this particular venue might be linked to the inscription above the door, which, as you can see, says, Could you kiss the bride? That is very interesting. Eh? Absolutely, absolutely. And can you just... Tell us, tell us one more exciting architectural fact about this building. We are waiting right now. The sun is about to go down. <coughs> We're waiting, and um, we just need to pass a little bit of time. Well, we uh, many of us can remember, <laughs> which are some not so much. Many of us can remember when this building was built. Uh, it was the very first building to be designed by a female architect. Yeah, and South Africa in those days was quite progressive, and and it was a female architect who laid the founding stone. How very in I I'm, I'm picking something up on my cameras. Uh, I sort of cross back to let's uh, Kelvin 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 Caspers. Can you come in because I feel yes, yeah. I, I did I pick something up on your camera there? Oh yes, Sonia. There has been a development. The spirits have led me to a nexus of the energy. I believe that the spirits we are encountering tonight are these two people. I believe them to be Elizabeth and Warren Ferjaster. Oh it's Elizabeth. My. Liz, Leafy, you can talk to us. It's my favorite. I can, can I ask you, Kelvin, can you give his flowers to Liz from me? Of course, of course, of course. Uh, Elizabeth, here are a gift of flowers for your special day. Uh, uh, Rian, Rian, come in. I see something on your camera. What is happening? Um, just keep, keep her talking. Keep her talking. I've nearly got a fix on the position. Okay, keep Liz, Elizabeth, keep I'm talking good. to me, my darling. Keep talking to me. The green. She hates the green. Oh my God. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't mean to scare you, Elizabeth. Oh no, her wedding colors were blue and purple. What have you done? I don't okay, know. Okay. Hold on, hold on. There we got it. There we got it. Okay. Okay, great. I've got a fix her now. She's in the banquetting hall. Calvin, she's in the banqueting hall. Okay, banquet. Okay. Okay, that's where, that's where Bronwyn is. Bronwyn? Bronwyn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. I'm here. Are you ready? Are you? And I, it's the time. It's the time. There's, there's, okay. Bronwyn, I don't want to scare you, but there's a, but there's a spirit there by you. Where? Here. Yeah. She means no harm. She's just a pistol of bride. That's all. Okay. Okay. Should you I try two, talking to her? Two spirits. Two spirits in the banqueting hall. Two. Repeat. Two. Uh, oh, no. Hello. Hello. <gasps> Okay. Um, it's the jealous maid of honor. She has arrived. <laughs> oh my. Um, I, I'm <laughs> hearing noises, Sonia. I'm hearing noises, and I've I suddenly got these scratches on my arm. Can you see them? Yeah. Get them out of there. Get them out of there. <laughs> Sonia, get the actor out of there. The maid of honor is very upset. Robin, you're going to have to leave your location. I know that this is a very serious job. I know that you took it very seriously when you took the job. But you need to get out of the okay, I'm coming for you. Sonia, am I still going to get paid? Am I still going to get paid? You don't get paid. Just get the fuck out of here. Are you sure? I can try. Work through it. I can try. Oh, oh something's got my leg. Stop my husband. Oh, my gosh. I'm... Rian, Rian! She stole my husband! We, she says, I can hear her. She's saying that she stole your husband. She's coming for you. Oh my gosh. We've lost, we've lost Bronwyn's camera. Calvin, Calvin, are you anywhere near? We've lost Bronwyn's camera. I will try. I will try. Give me a second. Okay. 
I've got my reserve cameras up here. I've got reserve battery power. Um, Calvin, are you pursuing on foot? I am. Okay. Just stay quiet, brother. Stay quiet. I'm hearing the faint noises of here comes the bride. She's just in front of you, Calvin. She's just in front of you. Can you, can you smell the heat? I don't want to be that big bear. I don't want to be that big Please don't. Ma, the bride. It's the bride. Captain Fubi Pants, is that you? Are you possessed? That doesn't seem to be you anymore. What is happening? Help! Help me! Get them out of there, Sonia. Okay, we have to shut this mission down, everybody. Everybody, pack your things. We have to get out of there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to leave you like this. Just everybody, every man for himself. Bronwyn, Bronwyn, I'm sorry, my darling. I'm sorry. I know you were just an actress. You have no, no experience, but we have to get out of here. We have to go. Just go. I'll be fine. You can't leave yet. Liz is about to put out the cake. <laughs> Is anyone there? Can anyone hear me? Uh, I'm all alone. I think I'm in my closet somewhere. Uh, I don't know. Da, da, I can hear her outside, please. Da, 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 da. Hello? Da, da. Hello? 